Alright, so hey everyone, um, the Xbox uh, version of Resident Evil 4 Remake just got updated and it updated the controls to um, be pretty much identical to the PC version with an Xbox controller. So uh, this is going to be pretty redundant uh, compared to the, the previous videos I've done. Um, but uh, just doing a quick update. Um, the movement is now 30% uh, and mostly circular. just with uh, these little spikes jutting out of the corners and this is just in a square dead zone overlaying on top of uh, the circular dead zone. Uh, compare this to the previous uh, dead zone which was 46% uh, and uh, rounded square. So this is quite a bit smaller and uh, more circular and uh, there's no restricted diagonal movement after this update so you can see I'm moving slightly right slightly left slightly right whereas uh, for all the these uh, dead zones uh, there was a 24 percent axial dead zone which uh, restricted angular movement so if you were within this on any axis you'd be moving perfectly forward or back or left or right for the map cursor we have a 24% square dead zone and this is the size of the dead zone that's overlaying on top of the movement dead zone but you can see that there's no axial restriction here either so capping the cursor like this you can see that passing over the vertical axis changes the vertical direction this applies to the horizontal axis as well whereas previously 24% uh, around each axis was restricted. For the camera, uh, this is very slightly different from the uh, PC version with an Xbox controller. This is a 24% square, whereas on PC um, it was a 26.5% um, dead zone. So a very minor difference but this is smaller compared to the previous Xbox which was uh, a 31% uh, we have the same axial restriction that was in the PC version about 20% around each axis and no restriction around the uh, horizontal axis this is a uh, much better than the Xbox version because uh, vertically it was restricted 40% there and uh, horizontally 24% um, so you have quite a bit more diagonal movement to work with um, in this uh, with this update. The acceleration curve has been changed uh, unsurprisingly to be exactly like the uh, PC versions where uh, on previous Xbox was a 3.5 degree curve and now it's a uh, fourth degree um, power function and this isn't scaled with the dead zone just like that version so uh, once you break out of the dead zone you fall into the curve at that point and then it builds up smoothly to its maximum rate so this makes uh, the controls feel much more responsive because while a fourth degree curve is slower um, it's not being scaled to um, the dead zone so by the time you break out of the dead zone you're actually moving faster than you would if it were scaled um, so this does make uh, the dead zone feel a little smaller that's what made so the slower starting curve is what made the, the previous Xbox version feel slower so uh, this will feel uh, more responsive uh, this the dead zone has been decreased but not a whole lot but uh, between that and the slightly faster starting curve uh, this makes um, this update feel quite a bit more responsive than it was before now um, I had given credit to the previous Xbox version uh, for being better set up meaning uh, if we got rid of the axial dead zones and added options uh, that version would be um, perfect but now we have the PC version and the PC version has uh, issues itself so as you can see 
um, the dead zones are square and these should be changed to um, to be circular because that would make exiting the dead zone consistent so um, if you move uh, you know 24 percent this way that's what you requ required to exit this but you have to move uh, further than that in the corners to be able to exit it out um, we need to uh, remove these axial dead zones or at least add options to remove them um, having restricted uh, Angular movement like this can hurt accuracy because if you want to make a subtle angle, you have to overcorrect to be able to do that. And uh, because it's restricting it, uh, this can make uh, just your movements feel more blocky than uh, they would be otherwise. The acceleration curve uh, should be scaled um, to the um, dead zone. It works fine here because a fourth degree curve starts so slow, you're not losing anything. But if we are given options for the acceleration curve, um, this will become really bad uh, if players want to use uh, less exponential or more uh, linear curves um, because you will start to lose um, quite a bit of your um, smaller turn rates, uh, potentially to the point where uh, making small adjustments is simply impossible unless you also use a small dead zone. Um, so that, that's why uh, the acceleration curve should be uh, scaled with the dead zone. So uh, to quickly sum that up, um, switch to a uh, switch to circular dead zones. Uh, remove this axial restriction. Scale the acceleration curve um, to the uh, dead zone, and add uh, dead zone options for both the camera and the movement. Ideally, it, uh, dead zones. Uh, as well as a slider for the intensity of the acceleration curve. Uh, the dead zones um, can slider would ideally range from 0% to um, let's say 50% just so you can access um, a wide range of dead zone sizes and you could even access um, you know 46% which was the default movement previously um, but just have a full range there and for the acceleration curve uh, a range from linear to um, fourth degree so um, just have a smooth slider between that and that would give players a ton of control over what specific curve they want uh, lastly I mean we can uh, simply remove this axial restriction but if we have an option for this as well uh, players could choose if they want the restriction or not and a slider controlling that could range from uh, you know, 0 to 20, 20 being this uh, default amount, and 0 being a complete full diagonal movement. So uh, it's great that uh, Capcom has improved this uh, Xbox version, but uh, there's a few things that uh, can be further improved to make uh, all the versions play uh, even better. So uh, hopefully we can see those improvements made, and uh, that about covers it. So thanks for watching. And everyone, have a good rest of your day.